Say a lot, turn me up. Hey, everybody. Thank y'all for joining us tonight for our first live episode. This is our 20th episode. Yay. Thank you for all our watchers, all our followers, all the listeners. We just want to appreciate y'all, man. What's going on? <laughs> y'all, we kind of nervous, so bear with us till all of the little jitters go away. It's all good. So the pur purpose of our episode tonight was to give y'all a chance to like interact with us, come to us with any questions that y'all may have. So, I mean, it's just kind of like a chill vibe night. Um, so just kind of like starting off, if anybody got any questions, I see some of y'all watching and oh yeah, we want to shout out our faithful um, listeners, the people that always come up and tell us we're doing like a good job or whatever. Um, I see like Nay, I see you watching Brianna, um, Nicole, I see you watching my mom, Linda. Anybody <laughs> else? Y'all want to call anybody else out? Oh, and, and our family out there, Rita, Moot, see all y'all. <laughs> yeah, Granny yeah, Newt. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Brittany. Brittany. Brittany and Ebony. Yep. The Smiths, DeSandra Bryan. What's up, y'all? Nye Kaya. Ace and Kiara. Thank y'all for up? listening. Yeah, Tamisha. Yeah. Sharonda. Mm -hmm. yeah. Regina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We see y'all. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for interacting and subscribing and uh, leaving your comments. We, we appreciate it all. All right. So... Before y'all keep on sending those messages in, those questions in. But before we get started, I have a question for y'all, right? Mm -hmm. So, do you guys believe in soulmates? Absolutely. I got mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I believe in soulmates, Yeah, too. I got mine. Yeah, they real. You sit beside me, ain't you? For sure. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> so, can someone mm. have more than one soulmate? Mm. That's a good question. What you think, baby? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I also, if we're going to say soulmates, I also believe in soul ties. So um, sometimes I feel like that we can create, create our own soul tie by um, connecting with people, <laughs> certain people. Mm -hmm. So I do believe in soul ties as well. But I do believe that there is a particular person out there for each of us. God created somebody for each of us. All right. So are you saying those soul ties create fake soul mates? Absolutely. And I love the way you said that. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah, don't be fooled. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> any questions out there yet? Y'all see any questions? Oh, and I forgot I to shout that. out my mother-in-law, Tootsie. <laughs> we see you watching. Hey, Miss Tootsie. <laughs> hey, Mama. <laughs> oh, for sure. Shout out to all our um, new Instagram followers, man. We we really appreciate everyone who's been tapping in and tuning in and following us. Uh, not only on Instagram, but Facebook and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. You. appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. Yes. yes, definitely. So, um, so, okay. So we, you guys say you believe in soulmates. So I guess one of my questions was, cause I watched a TikTok video, how like someone's a mate or a partner passed away and then they met someone after that. So are you guys saying that that soulmate, they can't have more than one soulmate or it's just a timing thing? Mm, that's, yeah, that's good. a good question. That's a great question. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, I, I believe just like I said, that there's someone out there for everybody. Also, it's about knowing yourself. Um, and if you are a believer, because I got I to gotta keep taking it there, y'all. Um, if you are a believer that there will be people, if it's a Bible verse, it's better to marry than to burn. So sometimes we have certain desires. So if you are connected with somebody, I feel like you are now out of a covenant 
So if that person does pass away, you're out of a covenant. And I believe that God knows you and that there will be somebody else for you if you need to be married. Because there's some times that people actually just need to be married to keep them from, you know, sinning. <laughs> Yeah. That was a good answer. Yeah. I I guess I was asking the timing thing because um <clears throat> I was TikTok shout out. <laughs> I like TikTok. <laughs> but it was a um it was another video uh, it was another question basically. Um do you wish you would have met your spouse earlier? Definitely. Why you say that? <laughs> because I I just feel like a lot of the things that I did in my life, like if I had her, I probably wouldn't have did things like that. Because she has like changed me. Her, with the God, with the help of her, like big 360. Okay. So, I appreciate you. Mm, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to say yes and no because I feel like you know, as far as maturity wise, yeah. if I would have met her earlier, she probably would have been like, "Nah." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I definitely agree. I so, definitely yeah, agree. Yeah, I, I just feel like it's some things you gotta go through mm -hmm. to, you know, get to that next mm -hmm. level and mature. Mm -hmm. So get yeah, where you need to be. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And God ain't gonna give you nothing until He' ready for you to have it. You know what I'm saying for mm -hmm. sure. Even though like that's your soul make this mind that's yours, but. We wouldn't have had them back in the day because God wouldn't have allowed us to have it. You know yeah, yeah. So we He had to make sure we was ready for it. Yeah, it's just a you know you gotta work through some things yeah. first, man. Yeah. You know what you think? Um, <laughs> I say for me the timing was right. Okay. I don't think it was either. I don't think it was too early or too late. I just think it was perfect timing. Right. So if he would have came earlier, would have been too soon for you, like he said, kind of, or what you think? Oh, hold on, hold on. I think he ended. ended. Yeah. When, when you unplug the phone. Uh, man. I was back up. Okay. <laughs> um, what'd you say, Bree? Um, I was saying. So you said it was the perfect timing. So let's take that scenario. If he would have came earlier. What do you think that timing would have been off or you would have been like how you guys are, basically? Mm. I think we might have been a little bit off if it would have happened sooner. Um, only because I'm pretty sure I was a little bit mature, um, immature. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, I don't think I was ready for a serious relationship back then. Like I said I was, but mm -hmm. when you're looking back on it, I don't think I was really ready for it. Yeah. Nico, what do you, you think? Um, so basically do you believe like or do you wish you would have found me sooner or was it the perfect time? Um, I think for me it was the perfect time. Um Right when I needed you, you came along, even though I didn't know you were coming. <laughs> but I think I think that was the perfect time for me and where I was in my life. How about you? Did you answer? Mm, no. Yeah, I think God's timing is always perfect. So, yeah, absolutely. so sure. I think it was perfect when, yeah. when it we, happened. We never would have met up nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, that's a good question. Then so like because. We always talk about that. It's kind of weird because we're like, you know, if we wouldn't have met the way we did, would we had run into each other like in person? Right. So, well, you alls situation is different because we met online, but y'all yeah. met through like mutual yeah. people yeah. or, mm -hmm. so I guess the question doesn't, it's invalid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I get key two weeks with me, she would have, oh, I don't want him no more. Two weeks at the most. When back then? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I feel like timing was perfect. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I feel like it's, like Chris said, maturity. Like, just, <laughs> I don't even think I would have been ready to, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. I, my priorities was, I was just solely focused on certain things. So, I wasn't, I wouldn't even been able to attend to what you probably needed me yeah. to do. So, it probably wouldn't have worked. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, everybody <laughs> agreed that timing was right. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's what's up.
Any questions yet? Anyone on Instagram got questions? Y'all come on, talk to us. Yeah, now. Who out there we'll see yeah, you out there sure. I know my aunt Rita, she watching. I can't believe she ain't said nothing. <laughs> I think we need to tell a lot of listeners, the people that don't know like who we is, how we usually do. You know what I'm saying? What I'll start it. I'm with you. Just, just. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Well, they, they know. know. They know how we started. Yeah. yeah. But, but I am putting I, a face to the. Yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah, I, I'm I'm I am yeah. Keonda. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who are y'all? I'm you know Chris. he like to go in order. So. <laughs> Not, I give you a pass tonight. I'm gonna give you a pass tonight. My name is Chris. I'm Brianna. I'm Nico. What's up? It's good. It's good. Oh, they say you can't see. They can't see. Oh, so thank you, Regina Bennett, mother. It says, <laughs> I think the timing would be off. It took you to go through things and mature to be ready for the person and to be where you are now. Exactly. That's very true. Yeah, That's sure, very true. Sure. All right. I like that. All right. Another one. I agree with Regina. You have to go through sometimes in order to truly appreciate. Nicole Burt, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. That's yes, very thank true. Thank you. Hey, girl. Sure. Yeah. Hey, Nicole. Yeah, that's true. Because, like I said, if I would have met Nico in high school, like, I was a studious student. And <laughs> I don't think he was as studious, so I would have looked the other direction. So, yes. <laughs> the timing definitely has to be right. So let's get some fun in here. What are your relationship icks? Okay, I'm going to start. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. This man chews so loud when he eat. I cannot stand that. <laughs> that he chews so loud. I, I'm like, hold on. Before you eat, let me get a movie on. <laughs> Before you start, put that fork down. <laughs> let me get a movie on because I can't. And why why do you chew so loud? <laughs> Is it because it tastes good or what? Because <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got no teeth in the <laughs> Uh oh. Yeah, chew that meat in the front, huh? <laughs> That's crazy. Not the front. Yeah, I had I had. <laughs> I, had, I, had a few, yeah, I had a few pulled in the back. So they be, yeah, they they put me out there, man. You know, that's why. Hey, at least it's not in the front. So yeah, that's why. You're doing okay. Yeah, Who else? Relationship X. Now, since you want to talk. <laughs> okay. Snoring. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> snoring. Bookie. This woman Bookie. snores so loud. Okay, who next? <laughs> <laughs> she want to turn the page. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> to turn it. No, it's only, turn. it's only, she got to be like real tired. But when she real tired, yeah, yeah. She go in. She go in, boy. She, go she in. real tired. She real tired. She go in. Chop. Okay. <laughs> How about the Kaiser's relationship X? I think it's going to be a similar All mm-hmm. right, yeah. It's going to be it's snoring. Def- <laughs> it's definitely going to be similar. And it ain't just when he tired. It's every day. Okay, Chris. Hey, honestly, real talk. Hard. Yeah, real talk. I don't even remember having a snoring issue <laughs> until, you know, I got older. Yeah. So I don't know. But yeah, it's definitely one. That's crazy. So yeah, it's my turn now. <laughs> <laughs> give, give us a good one. Um, it's one. <laughs> you already know what I'm about to say, right? No, I uh, right. <laughs> so it's one is when she, like, if she drinking something, <laughs> like if she when she swallowed a drink or the water, it's, it's so loud, bro. It's like. <laughs> So tonight yeah, y'all like, here on the mics with that drink. <laughs> I'm just like, yo, why is it? Why do it sound so loud when you drinking something? But yeah, that's definitely one. Easton's. <laughs> Mine probably would be like when I tell him something, he be like, mm, I forgot. I got so much on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's <laughs> probably it. I'm glad y'all think this funny. <laughs> No, for me, um, probably what, what snoring too. <laughs> we got three snores in the group. Only yeah. when I'm real tired. <laughs> right, when I'm tired. I give you the benefit of the doubt on that one. Oh, hey, Jamie, I see you with my godson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we got a um, question from Aretha. She said, What do you think about mar- a married person having a best friend of the opposite sex? I don't yeah. agree. I agree. My best friend is a male, Nico. It's not different. That's I different. feel like if that's it, different. That's totally different. Because he family. He family. Yeah, that's that's family. Like, yeah. But that's, I agree it can happen. Like if you if you keep it appropriate, then I think it could work. Yeah. I think it could work as long as it was there before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah not anything after. Yeah. Oh, but did y'all hear do y'all watch the girl from from Riley with the nails. Oh yeah. I heard she she was cheating or something, right? Yeah, yeah. she was cheating with her best friend's husband. Right? Oh, yeah, I seen that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's been going all on like TikTok and everywhere. And now the girl is suing her. Yeah, from, the girl suing her because they like, from North Fantasia, Carolina. A- alienation of affection. Yep. Mm-hmm. Girl. Hey. Wanted like a series, like uh, didn't it have a lot of parts to it or something. But was oh, that on? I don't know. I, I see one. I yeah. see yeah. so. Okay. Well, yeah. did you see the girl today? The Caucasian lady, excuse me, that used to be on the Bad <laughs> Girls Club. Oh, Y'all ain't yeah, seen the video with her crying? Mm-hmm. Why? So her, was it her husband? Yeah. I think what is her husband? Anyway, so they had one child together and she's pregnant right now. And he went on a her trip. Boyfriend, I think. Yeah, it was her boyfriend. He went on a trip. To Mexico with her best friend, she didn't know nothing about it. She thought he was going away for work, mm. but how she found out was because they got into a motorcycle accident in Mexico, and the girl's family posted a GoFundMe. Mm. But she was all on there crying and that's stuff. Crazy. So wow, mm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, the truth always come yeah. out. Yeah, it, yeah. Sure. I, I feel like it's possible, but it's got to be <laughs> some restrictions and boundaries set between you and your spouse. Right. I think it's possible, but definitely some boundaries have to be in place. Yeah, yeah, because you're not texting after seven thirty. You're not calling them after seven. You know what I mean? Like it has to be some boundaries, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So, but like no new friends. Yeah, kind of <laughs> like we said, it kind of already has to be established. Yeah. You know? Break yeah. everybody in the fold. But then is that unrealistic? Because in life you're gonna meet people along the way, so. That's unrealistic. Well, when you get older, it's gonna be harder to meet people, so it ain't gonna happen too often. Unless you're screwing them. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I, mean, I, I feel like you can have. Okay, let me ask this. Do you feel like you can have male or female acquaintances? Like, I work with you. We work together. Um, you are good at tech stuff. And you know them through work. Like, it's another mm-hmm. teacher and he's good at tech stuff. Mm-hmm. Are you okay with her? Texting, emailing, you know, having phone conversations with him for like business or transaction, transactional things. Mm. That are, Trina that, Braxton. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I still I'm, think it's still still gotta be boundaries, even with that. Yeah. Even yeah. if it's you know work related stuff. Yeah. You know, can't be texting and calling about work stuff at. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Yeah. Seven o'clock. <laughs> yeah. You know. I don't even want to talk about work when I leave. No. Nah. <laughs> when I leave, I'm done to the mall. Done. All right. All right. So we have another question. All right. Do you all think that married people should take advice from a single person? Say that again. I'm sorry. <clears throat> do you believe that married people or do you think married people should take advice from a single person? I think... I think if, okay, you, I, I think it's unrealistic to say that all of our friends have to be married, right? right. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I yeah. think that's very unrealistic. Yeah. I feel like if I have a friend, because let's not use the word friend loosely, a friend, mm-hmm. um, that I could go to that friend with a problem and that friend is going to give me sound advice. Right. Now, if we're talking about an associate, we can't just be sharing all our business with just anybody. But if mm-hmm. it's a friend, yes, I think you can get yeah. advice from a friend. Yeah. 
Well, but then, it, too, it depends on what kind of friends, you know? Because, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. some friends you can go to about your marriage and stuff, and then, you know, you got some friends where you just like, oh, no, I'm yeah. not going to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's about, knowing, yes, yeah. about yeah. knowing your, your friend. Right, yeah. right. It's definitely levels. It's <laughs> levels to it, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, you definitely can't get advice from just anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I think that's where a lot of people mess up at, too. They just mm-hmm. take advice from people online and just anybody yeah, yeah. so because people everybody don't have your best interests uh-uh. right yeah i think i don't know if it was crystal that posted it or we posted it on the page but it was basically talking about like how friends you got to be careful with friends because sometimes they that jealousy they're underlining was that you that posted that crystal Child, post something. <laughs> I don't know. It might have been uh, just the, from the um, podcast page. Oh, well, was underlining something with friendships too, so you got to be careful and navigate those friendships. That's all I was saying. Yeah. 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 All right. So we got one comment from Nay. She said, "I can't remember if you all answered this previous on previous episodes, but how did you know that your spouse was the one? Did you get the feeling of just knowing that everyone talks about?" Um, and then she said, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> we got your name. Yeah. Um, for me, so like, so, okay, going on the date, the first date went really well, but like, it was still that awkward, like quiet moment. Um, so the, after the second, third date, I didn't know like husband wise, but I knew like he's probably going to be my man. But then when I came back from Seattle and we uh, went to, uh, L house. Mm-hmm. I was comfortable and we had our first kissing. Butterflies. <laughs> Girl. After that first kiss, you're about to run into a trash can. Yeah. <laughs> right, because afterwards I got in the car because we, you know, we kissed or whatever. And then we got, I got in the car and then I was trying to leave out the parking lot and I turned down the wrong way was about to hit the dumpster. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Man, but miss you up, then. <laughs> Put it on up. Yeah. <laughs> but what was the question? <laughs> oh, as far as did we feel it? I mean, for a guy, you you gonna know if you with the right one. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, it's just gonna happen that way. So I don't know why people be playing with people feeling because they know that ain't the right one. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but the question was, how did you know she wants? I to just know. knew. I just you knew just she knew. was the one for me. Like, um, how she, we interacted and stuff that happened, like, when we first met each other, it wasn't like I was meeting some uh, strangers. Like, I've been knowing her for all this time, so mm-hmm. we just clicked yeah. for me. And I don't know, like, the level of comfort was just comfortable, like. Yeah, like, we've yeah. been knowing each other forever. Yeah, so. so it's, it's weird. Yeah, so I don't know if I can say exact pinpoint moment, but it's just a feeling that you know your gut. Yeah, you know. How about y'all? Sure. Everybody look at me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but spotlight, man. Nah, real talk. I felt the same. Um, like Nico was discussing. Um, and I had like a. She still don't believe me, but you know, I had that little that little slight vision. You know, at my uh, cousin's wedding, it was just a glimpse. I don't know if anybody familiar with how God give you glimpses of, of certain mm-hmm. things, mm-hmm. not the full picture, but yeah. just. A little piece of it mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying when i seen her and i told her i was like yo you know mm-hmm. i got a glimpse of that you're gonna be my wife yeah and she's like oh nah you lying i don't believe you <laughs> but real talk that's that's what happened <laughs> she's still looking at me like she don't believe you. i don't think i don't remember you telling me that i told I mean, you that. i know you told me but i don't think it was early on nah it wasn't early on but i mean i still i still had a, a glimpse of something and like just her whole her heart. Crystal got a big heart, so she's a real caring person. Even though, you know, she she don't play no games on the back end, but her heart is is everything. So he said he had this glimpse from God or a vision, right? Crystal, you ain't gotta do you ain't gotta do your fingers like that. <laughs> but how he acted afterwards, <laughs> ask him about it. That's why I yeah. didn't believe him. Oh, I mean, his actions didn't line up to that. Mm-hmm. Hey, listen, just I mean, sometimes when when God places stuff somewhere, we don't always act right. Yeah, That's right. right. Sometimes you know? it be heavy. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. we gotta get into, and this shout out to sis, we gotta get into alignment with what um 
God put in our life. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, That's true. Yeah, I remember that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Crystal. Um, I would say I can't remember the exact. Well, I remember, but I can't remember what happened that day. I think that day we just like hung out and. It was something dealing with the kids, of course, because they was always around. But I remember, like, getting in my car, driving home, and I remember being like, okay, yeah, this the one. And I think mainly for me, because when we first started talking, um, all he did was go to work, <laughs> church, <laughs> go home and take care of his kids. And I, I just couldn't believe it. I remember calling Tamisha like, girl. Is this all he do? Like, this ain't right. He got to be talking to somebody. He got to be. And she, her and little Larry was like, no, that's, that's it. That's Chris. Mm-hmm. And then when I saw that that was it, mm-hmm. then this one I knew. You <laughs> Okay, well, for me, it was the attention he paid to, like, the small details. Um, and it was like... <laughs> I ain't even gonna go to that pothole thing anymore. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but it was just like the way that he was like a such a protector. You know what I'm saying? And once our kids met and my kids started to like him, then I was I was cool with it. Right. Well, yeah, I uh, I agree with both of my brothers, man. Like I I knew like right out the gate. I told her like you gonna be my wife. Same thing, bro. Said I said God told me that you gonna be my wife. First, like soon as I saw, her, mm-hmm. I, I told her that like you gonna be my wife. She was like, man, you crazy. Nah, I'm serious. Like you gonna be my <laughs> wife. And look, she's your wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have another question from Brittany. It says, hey fam, what is your love language, and do you think it's important to fulfill? Ooh, something Kelly him up. Okay, sorry. What is your love language, and do you think it's important to fulfill that with your spouse? Ooh, good question. Good question. Good, good question. question. All right, Brittany. Um, so my love language is acts of service. But I will say this when it comes to love language. I feel like your love language can change depending mm-hmm. on what you're lacking in a, in a situation. So um, I... Because I, I always did, like, the love language thing. You know, I was just, like, into that. So, like, when I was with somebody else, I could have did my love language. And my love language was affection. Like, you know, affection. But maybe that was just what I was missing. So, I will also say be careful with the love language. It's good and it's cool. But for me, I just feel like it changes as you grow up, as you mature. Um, also, like, what you may be lacking or... You know, if a person is hitting everything, right. you know, I just feel like it, it changes. But mine right now is always going to be, like, acts of service. It, well, it has been for a while. Right. When he do stuff, not even, like, giving me a gift. If he do something to take or make my day lighter, that just get me going. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Anyone else know their love language? Uh, I think mine now. It's always gifts. It's always been gifts. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but <laughs> but it's it don't gifts. have to be a big it's, gift it's though. Gifts. No, like I, I like small things. Like I, it don't matter what it is. Like you can go to the store and buy me a bag of gummy worms, Ooh. and I'm just as happy. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I think it is, <laughs> like it's you, physical touch. No, I really think for you. And we got to do this test again. What? But I really think for you right now is words of affirmation. Think so. I think because whenever, because like when we was talking and you was like, when you said this, it really made me. It stood out. I thought about that for days. When you said it may that, be, it may it be, may be it that may now. Be. Yeah, it may be. It might have changed. So yeah, it can change. It so. can change. Yeah. Or you can have more than one. More than one too. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I still like them gifts. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. All right. Man, what's yours? Um. What was that? Was at that time. I forgot. <laughs> gifts. Service. Oh yeah, at the service. Yeah, I love, love oh, the gifts. Oh, gifts. Gifts. No, gifts. Yeah, I love the gifts. I love the gift stuff. 
<laughs> I might gonna receive it. You know, I receive gifts too, but I love to love give. Giving. I yeah. love to give. I love to give. I love to give. I love yeah. to see people surprised. I love to surprise Bree with anything I can. I'm always looking at something every day to buy her. She's like, oh no, don't buy me, but I like this. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, yeah. but you gotta be careful with a gift person that loves to give gifts because like sometimes I'm like, oh, I like this. And then he goes and buys it. And I'm like, I was just saying I liked it. I don't want it. So... But I do be dropping hints sometimes because... She won't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, I think mine would probably be quality time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I enjoy spending time together. Just being... Even if we're not, um, you know, like, talking just in the room together or close right. by each other. So yeah, I agree. I'll say that. Mine, I would say, is affection and quality time. For sure. Um, mine is the same as you know the fellas gifts you know this yeah. acts of service. Of course we know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a service gifts gifts. gifts. Shout shout me baby. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. And then I guess yeah. the second part of that question was how important it is to fulfill that for your spouse. I think that's important. I think it's very, it's very important. important. Yeah. Yeah. If that's sure. how they receive love, yeah. that's yeah. you want to make sure that you're doing it. Just because yeah. you're married, that don't need to stop. You can't stop what you right. started. Mm-hmm. Right. To me, yeah. yeah. Keyword: yeah. Don't stop what you started. If you that's spoil right. them in the beginning, you gotta keep flowers, keep going, everything else. You gotta keep yeah. that going, yeah. right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so. Okay, so um, yeah, but boundaries. <laughs> 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 Chris is spoiled. And it's my fault, but yeah, it is, you got it is. Yeah, it's boundaries. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, she definitely got me spoiled. Got your right. Because, you know, I mean, when I before, you know, I was used to just doing everything mm-hmm. myself, but she came in and changed my whole perspective and how things go. Because, you know, I really didn't get a lot of a lot of stuff. So, mm-hmm. and then she, when she, stop, can't she? Yeah, she started showering <laughs> with the gifts. No, I won't stop. (laughs) (laughs) He the one who can't stop. (laughs) It'll be an anniversary. I'm like, no, we don't need to do nothing. We've been together. No, I want to give. I'm like, (laughs) dang. Father's Day Mm -hmm. coming, Chris. Right. (laughs) Well, you know, I try to get out of that because he ain't my daddy. I mean, I'm, I'm going to get him a little something, but uh-uh. Marquise, if you're listening out there, <laughs> wow. take care of your daddy wow. now. Uh-oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to remember that one. Uh, so, okay, we have another question from Nicole Burt. The question stems from episode 18. Okay, evidence, TBD, okay. textual-based <laughs> evidence. Okay, what is some advice you can offer to a newer married couple? Because the episode was a whole lot. Oh, what is some advice you can offer to a new, what was that newer episode? married episode. couple? Eighteen. 18. Nicole, can you tell us what episode? <laughs> 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 you gotta look at it real quick. Memory. I don't have my phone. Oh, she oh. was on. Um, <laughs> so we. This is twenty. This is twenty. So last one was Brianna. Brianna, <laughs> and then the one before that was. I think we had another gift. Oh, McCollum's. Was yeah, it the McCollum's? Oh, yeah. McCollum's. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Shout out to the McCollum's. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Shout out oh, yeah. To y'all. We forgot they uh, faithful listeners. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Shout y'all Shout out. Shout y'all out. Um, All right. So, what's some advice for newer married couples that you guys would tell them? Mm, I would say, I say it in every episode do what works, what works for y'all. Mm hmm. Um, because when you first get engaged or even when you first get married, people, um, are always going to tell you, especially people that's been married for years or people that's been divorced, but they're always going to tell you, don't do this, don't do that. But times have changed. Mm -hmm. Um, we ain't living back in grandma and grandpa times. Like it's just different now. Mm -hmm. The household dynamic is different. Um, even marriage itself so just do what works for y'all you can't worry about what grandma mm-hmm. and grandpa did because it's just different yeah right mm-hmm. no, that's true um yeah. so i feel like if you do what works for y'all keep god first that's important mm-hmm. keep people out your business mm-hmm. for sure keep people out your business Keep people out your business. Keep people, people out, out your business. business. <laughs> um, and build a strong and firm foundation. Yes. Mm-hmm. From the beginning, you will be all right. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and we did an episode where we were talking about premarital counseling. And if you didn't do that before, I mean, still reach out to somebody to help y'all navigate some of those um, things like uh, integrating like finances and, you know, learning more about mm-hmm. like what type of household you expect. So even if you didn't do it before your marriage, you can still do it if you're new to getting married. Still try to get that counseling in so y'all can have some type of foundation on like questions or things that y'all need to know. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it, it's, I think we all did it here. Yeah. And it was yeah. very much needed. Yeah. I would, yeah. <laughs> I would yeah. advise everybody to do it. And if you already married and you didn't do it, just you know find somebody that y'all can do that with, pastor or counselor, somebody. <clears throat> Yeah. Yep. Anything else? Yeah. I'll definitely say have a friendship, communication, make sure you're open to communicate even when you're you're mad at each other, come back together and kind of discuss it. And um I think we talked about this one in the episode. Don't don't try to throw in there like things to heighten the situation. Like so know your partner and how they communicate. If you know in an argument, if they need space and time, give them that space and time. So basically make sure you know your partner when you're trying to navigate those <clears throat> arguments or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I know this is easier said than done, but being vulnerable, uh, will get take you far. Um if something hurts your feelings, you this is your wife or this or this is your husband. Y'all have to be able to communicate like, hey, we don't have to talk about it right now, but when you said this, it did bother me and we can we can table it, we can come back to it. Mm-hmm. But being able to express like, this did bother me, and then, because you could be bothered by something, and it's, they didn't even realize they bothered, you know, it was right. something that big yeah. to them. Right. Um, so, being able to be vulnerable, <clears throat> that's going to be a, very important. To keep in a help, healthy marriage. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And once you know your spouse, like, know those triggers for them. I think we talked about it in one of the episodes, like, the grieving episode or something. Like, know your spouse to know, like, if something's up with them. Like, if something's wrong, if they're having a bad day. Like, just get to know your, truly get to know your spouse. Because sometimes with, like, these marriages, like, oh, I know my spouse. And you get married to them and they don't know nothing, of, mm-hmm. you know, nothing <laughs> about your spouse. Right. So, really get to know your spouse, the ins and outs of them. Of course, you'll never know everything about them. But truly, try to get to know them. Right. And also, keep dating. That's oh, very yeah, important. That's good. That is good. Date night. Yes. Yep. You have any questions on that? Mm, not on here. No, on okay. Mm-mm. I have another question. All right. So, this is from Regina. All right. So, what about getting mm-hmm. advice from people that were married but not single? Oh, but now single. So, let me reread that. I'm sorry. What about getting advice from people that were married but now single? Ooh. So, they were divorced. They were married once upon a time. Now they're divorced. I think that's wisdom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you can tell sure. me what yeah. not to do. Um, yeah, for, for sure. So yeah, what what works or didn't work for you? Um, what you learned from your experience? I think that's wisdom. Yeah. So mm-hmm. matter of fact, we had two guests. Shout out to Brandon. Rashawn. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that was <laughs> wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> that was wisdom. Yeah. Word yeah. life tuned in. Shout out Word Life. They dropped, yeah. they dropped a lot of jewels. Yeah. So if y'all want to make sure you check that out if you haven't checked it out already. Yes. Right. Yeah, you just can't cut someone off because they're divorced, right? Mm-hmm. They can offer that yeah. wisdom that you guys were talking about. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> um, Ebony says, "Hey y'all," and hey, then hey, hey. and she said, "Just want to say I love the podcast very much, very much needed. Always great advice and lots of laughs. Will always have oh, will always have my support. Thank oh, you, Ebony. Thank you. Sure. All right, so this is from a guest who's not out there yet, but a- Angie McKinney." So shout her out. She's a hey, faithful Angie. listener. Hey, Angie. Right. Soon, coming soon. <laughs> she <laughs> says, you don't share your business with everyone. If someone knows you are you are going through something and feel genuinely concerned and they are single, you have to be discerning to the advice they are giving. Ooh, that's Absolutely. good. Yes. Definitely. Absolutely. That's sure. a good one. Absolutely. Definitely. Know what to take and what not to take. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yep. All right. I, I always say this. I, Mom, you're listening. Tell me if I'm saying this right. But sometimes you got to eat the meat and drop the bone. Huh? Mm. Explain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mom, I, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm saying it. I think I'm no, saying it. No, I get it what you're saying though. I, I get it, but explain it though. Yeah, I think I'm saying it a little. I think I'm saying it wrong. But sometimes a lot of people can offer you advice. You got to take what you can from it and mm-hmm. drop the other soft yeah. stuff yeah. off wayside, exactly. right? right? So sometimes you know. 
people have wisdom in anything they've been through. Exactly. Like, they have some type of wisdom, but sometimes all the wisdom's not what you need and, mm-hmm. or you don't believe. So sometimes you just got to take the meat of it and then drop the other stuff exactly. wayside. Exactly. Oh, that's yeah. good. I like yeah, that. So take the meat of it because the meat is the nourishing. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, you, right, that's yeah. the nourishment. Yeah, so she the, probably said it right. Yeah, she probably mm-hmm. said it right. The meat is the nourishment, but the bone, that, that's not, what can you get from that? You right. might get hurt off that. Might right. get choked off that. So right. I get that. Right. I like that. Because yeah. you can learn something from everybody. Anybody. For sure. I mean, you're always learning. Yeah. Whether it's learning to do something or learning not, not to, to do, do something. something. That's right. right. Yeah, that's true. Right. And this was just a continuation from Angie McKinney. She says, you have to go on what you believe is true because they don't know all the details. That's right. right. Mm-hmm. right. That's right. That oh, my mom said, that's right. Eat the meat and leave the bone. <laughs> 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 all right, mom. Um, all right. So we have another one from Rita. What do you think about your spouse getting invited to a major event? Like just a... Just single, just, like going by themselves? Oh, okay. She added, she fixed it. Okay. What do you think about your spouse getting invited to a major event and you were not invited? If <laughs> Okay, so if you're not invited, okay. Oh, that's not, right. not invited. So if you're not invited intentionally, he better not go either. No, I ain't. Because, <laughs> because what they're trying to do exactly. with you, right? You ain't inviting um, my wife or you ain't inviting me and you don't invite they ain't never one of us going. Nah. Right. Right. Yeah. Because we are one. Nah. <laughs> no one but if going. he's invited to something like his homeboy or something like that, I have no problem with him going there. But if it's intentional, he's invited, and I intentionally told you don't bring your wife, leave her at home. Yeah. Oh, no, we mm-hmm. you can't go. Oh, no, baby, Chris can go. <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't want to go. Mm-hmm. But don't that don't raise a red flag to you? Well, actually, nobody has ever invited. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, homeboy, Chris, Chris probably ain't gonna go anyway though. But yeah, they they intentionally going. told you don't come. D- leave your wife at home. No, now. no, no, no. Okay, so prime example. <laughs> so we were engaged at the time, and one of his cousins. Now, mind you. Me and the cousin, we do not talk. We <clears throat> we just don't talk. Mm. Okay. Um, and she was getting married at the time. She sent the invitation um to Chris. I'm assuming it was for Chris because like I said, me and her don't talk. Right. So I told him, Yeah, you go ahead and you go on to the to the wedding. <laughs> <I'm gonna be laughs> at home. So I don't know. I just I don't know. So the cousin don't like yeah, me. I wouldn't want to go to her wedding anyway. So just go. Yeah. yeah. Do what you I do. think that's disrespectful though. Yeah. Because you I know do. I'm married. Well, when yeah. it, when I got married, I didn't invite her. So <laughs> I'm just saying I'm different. Like if you want to invite him, go ahead, let him go, show his support, and I mean bring it on back to the house. Invitation is cool, but I still ain't really I ain't rolling out mm. without. No. Yeah. Without my half, you know. Yeah. yeah. Right. I ain't doing that. And that's gonna make me really feel some type of way, really, because if we family, you yeah. my family, and you invite me and don't invite my wife, like, come yeah. on, man. Yeah. I feel like that's disrespectful. Very. For real. Yeah. Yeah. And we a package deal. Yeah, for real. Yeah, so. uh, like bro said, you know, we we won. We won exactly. So, yeah. Invitations. Oh no. We coming <laughs> as a collective. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is from Linda. Hey, Auntie. She just said when we were talking about the bone, have your si- uh, sifter ready to take the good and cast away the bad. Mm, yeah, that's good, Ma. Absolutely. Um, and then Rita, thank you, Rita, to yeah, keep on coming. <laughs> All right, what about if it's a if it's a spouse family? I can't see right after that. Under it. Um, what about if it's the spouse family that didn't invite you? Oh, uh, so I, kind just, of, oh, I just, I just, I just, yeah. yeah. I mean, because I look yeah. at it like this, you know, you're gonna meet people. Everybody's not gonna like you. I ain't for everybody. Everybody ain't for me. Right. Um. But it was his family, and I just felt like it was it would be wrong of me to say no. Nah, you can't go because she didn't invite me. Yeah. Like you get what I'm saying. Now, I mean, friends. I mean, I guess I still feel the same way. I don't know. Just go show your support and bring your tail home. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like we got to have a conversation with your family about yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. Like, well, hold on. This cousin, <clears throat> it's, it's just a lot going on. I, yeah, so, I know what right. talking about now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I don't want a conversation don't need to be had with it. I'm sorry. I guess with certain people. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's take that cousin out of it and it was another family member. I would still tell him to go. Like somebody that you cool with. Well, what you think what? you, 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 think, cool, yeah, you right. cool with. Yeah, you cool with, yeah. I would still tell him to go, but I would ask. I mean, I feel like at that point, maybe a conversation would need to yeah. be had, but I would still tell him to go because that's his family. Mm. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. That's just me. Yeah, yeah I get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. But still. I, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I think a conversation would need to be had but even before he go to the event for me. Like, let's just try to figure this out. Like, what's up with that? Yeah, I'm before you go to the event. I'm going to call. Like, um, um, is it a reason why you didn't invite my wife? It, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what's the reason? What's up? Yeah. I got to figure and it out. And they usually not going to come up with a reason. Yeah, they ain't. Yeah. Oh, we well, oh, we didn't mean to. Oh, we yeah, yeah, it was an we accident. forgot. <laughs> You know she always welcome. No, I don't she know ain't. nothing. She ain't. Boy, you are crazy. Type of way about that. It is what it is. All right. All right. So this is just a question for myself. Is it okay for a married person to flirt or compliment others? What you think? <laughs> Is it okay for you to compliment somebody else? No, it's not okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay. Does the type of compliment like does it have to, does it depend on the type of compliment or does all compliments? We like shoes, so if he say something about somebody's shoes, I I wouldn't care about that. But like you know, just boundaries. Yeah, yeah. Like, dang, look at her shoes. Yeah. Yeah. So if he said, "Oh, you look nice today," that's a little bit too much. That ain't cool. I agree. I wouldn't do that anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what you think, Nico? Um, it just depends on the context. Like, I think it can be a little too much if you just randomly throwing out these. You look good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it just depends. Yeah, you better say shoes. I like your I hair. I like your shoes. Your right. Oh, look at her hair. Yeah. Right. Because I've, I've been, like, in a line before, and a man was behind me. I'm like, what you got on? That smell good. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, like, so I can go smell it for myself, for him. I'm going to maybe. get it. Right. So, <laughs> right. You know. Oh, yeah. Kaisers. <laughs> nah, I definitely ain't throwing no random ones out there. What about you? And don't forget the flirt question. <laughs> I mean, I think it's okay to give a compliment. Here, it just depends. <laughs> 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 I agree with you, what y'all what said. Like, oh, <laughs> you know, I like your shoes. Or, oh, you smell good. What you got yeah, on? I'm yeah. talking about like that. Because okay, to me, okay. giving a compliment and flirting is two th- different things. Right. It's clarity. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't you nothing. start, though. though. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What about, you know, let's get some uh, comments from those who watching. What they think about that? Yeah. yeah let, us know. Know. let us know what y'all think about that. Thumbs up. It's all right. Thumbs down. It's not okay. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're watching and you have not subscribed to our YouTube, please subscribe. Yes. Please yeah. subscribe. Do that. To all our channels. Yeah. All our Do channels. That. You'll know when but, stuff is dropping. Yeah. Anything on Instagram? Anyone on Ask Facebook? Ask something, man. Nobody on Instagram. See Facebook. nothing. We got some watches. Ask us some questions, y'all. Anyone have another question? Oh, let's talk about strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do y'all feel about your spouse going to a strip club? Stand out, just come say. No, no, no takers. Everybody quiet. Yeah, I ain't mean, got nothing to say. <laughs> I don't care if you go to the strip club. I don't care if he go to the strip club. If he, if his friends want to go out to the strip club, and we, he tell me he going to the strip club. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Do you care if I go? Bro, look, bro, look to the sky. <laughs> 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 
Now y'all out there remember this conversation. <laughs> yeah, remember we're have an this episode one. coming out talking about this. No, no, I ain't saying no come no, on. Nope. No, no. Go ahead, Crystal. Nope. Um Bro, look to the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all right. Like if he has a homeboy that's getting married or something like that and they going out, I think it's fine. But don't make it a, a, a habit. habit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, every week, and then that's free money that we could be going on vacation with. We could be doing something else with it. So, I mean, is it that funny? Yeah, it, it is to me. He said, "Lord, he to to the the Lord. Lord. <laughs> come <in> by help." <laughs> Yo, <crazy. laughs> Well, as far oh, as for me, yeah, I, I don't care if they you want to go to a strip club. If you want to get shook in your face, hey, have fun. Oh, he <laughs> go. Oh, I mean, I think that's a little too far. You should care about that. That's why I stay. No, out I this care, but I'm saying like I'm not gonna be jealous. Like, oh no, don't go to a strip club with your girl. Bachelorette man. party. Go out with these, you know. Yeah. Too, but whatever. I don't. They don't bother me. It bother you, Brianna. No, I just said, like I said, that's money that we can use to go on a vacation, so. Well, who said I'm throwing some money? Bro? I'm just <laughs> <laughs> oh, you a cheap one. <laughs> <laughs> At man. that point, you might as well stay at the house. <laughs> Nico said, I can do that for you. Nico said, I ain't throwing <laughs> no money. <laughs> but, 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 I'm going to tap in, like. Oh, oh tap okay. I'm going to tap in because, like, it be... Like, with me and my brother, shout out to Ace, man. Like, it be... Ace, I hope you listening. It be the vibe inside the strip club. Like, we don't get no lap dances. We don't throw no money. It's just, just the it. atmosphere of right. just being somewhere where you ain't got to, like... You know Like, you ain't at the club. You ain't at the bar. You just in there just watching the game. Man, right. We're kicking it, having a conversation. So, it ain't got to be... For the strippers, it's just right. the atmosphere. Right, go to a sports yeah. bar. That makes no sense. <laughs> but I get what you're saying. But do you care if I go to the strip club? Um, go. Do you care? No, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you care? Nah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't care if she go, but you know. I don't prefer. Yeah. But me, you know what I'm saying? I don't really. I had my share of it, so I don't, you don't really, it don't do nothing for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I used, to, I was going to the strip clubs <laughs> every weekend <laughs> back, you know, in my day. Yeah. But you know, I wouldn't give her a hard time about it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? To yeah. where it's gonna make me upset <laughs> or right. something like that. Right. You know. So. Yeah. Well, we used to have some reactions in the comments. So Angie McKinney said, "No strip clubs. You're setting yourself up, is what I think. He getting a rise on someone else and go." And gets possible ideas. Mm. Mm. That's that's uh, a good mm. point. Yes, yeah. I mean that's true. That's you got to know what you can handle. Yeah, you, you got to know, know you your limits. Yeah. then you got to set boundaries for yourself. That's right. true. <laughs> um, <laughs> Rita, okay, Rita. <laughs> she said, "Let him go because he will be re- very ready when he gets <laughs> home." <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Uh, Rita. Uh, Nicole said, I know that's right, Rita. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, Linda said, personally, absolutely not, exclamation point, exclamation point. <laughs> Clubs are not for married people. Mm. Mm. Visions get set in the mind that don't need to be there. Mm, that's true. Go ahead, Good my points. drop life. Uh, drop that word. All right, yeah. so we got a um, question coming in from Nay. She said, what is one of the biggest things that you had to change about yourself prior to marriage? Ooh, oh, that's a good question. Definitely a good question. Sure is. Mm. Prior to marriage. Hmm. Um, I guess I can start off. For me, <clears throat> I would say everything is about me. Mm. Everything well, is still about me, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I work on that because I, you know, I got hurt now. So I really had to work on that because it was just all about me, all about spending on me, all about doing what I want to do. So you know, bringing somebody to the fold and doing, you know, spreading it around. So yeah, mm-hmm. is that all about me? Mm-hmm. It's a working process. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely working. He definitely prioritized me, and I'm number one with him. Yeah. But yeah, he was definitely. He always remind me, yeah, I got to share you now. And the, like, you know, you know, mm-hmm. so that was that kind of stuff. Um, I think for me, hmm, come back to me. I'm trying to think about it. 
Because I was perfect and ready. So. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I, I have to think about that one. Come back to me. I want to say mine is similar to Nico, but um, I got to include the kids in it. Oh, yeah. um, it was really just me focusing on me and the kids so much to where, you know, I kind of left my personal mm. life to the, I put it to the side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I met Crystal, I had to learn to, okay, I've, I've met somebody. It's not mm-hmm. just about solely the kids. Right. I got to make my, you know what I'm saying? I got to have some happiness right. for myself. So, yeah. um, I'll say for me, it was, um, communicating my whereabouts because I was so used to like coming and going I gotta go do this I gotta go do that they need to go here and he like dang it you ain't tell me nothing I didn't know they had this I didn't know you had to go here so it was just communicating my whereabouts like when I got off work hey I just got off work what's up you know like mm-hmm. which and that w- that w- was the big thing for me communicating when I'm you know my whereabouts and you know yeah. just communicating yeah, yeah. I think I got to agree with you on that one, like communicating, cause, um, like I never had to like explain myself to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like give you details of where I'm at, what I'm doing, like. So, I think that was a big one for me, like doing mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. letting you know where I'm at, what I'm doing, where I'm going, like, yeah. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't think of <laughs> Okay, I thought of one, then you can come after me. Okay. I think for me would be learning to serve. And learning to serve as far as like it's kinda like the selfish thing, but it's kinda like as a wife, right, making your husband's plate, right? Doing things to make sure he's good. And it's kinda like you have to think about Cause I don't have kids, so thinking about someone else besides yourself. So I think that was something I had to get used to. Right. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think back. Like, hmm. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's kind of somewhat like what everybody else is saying. Um, cause I remember early on, like when we started getting serious and stuff. Um. This might sound weird when I say this, y'all. But for the longest time, me and him had like a weekend relationship. (laughs) (laughs) Like, that's the best way I can describe it. Like, during the week, I was working, going home, and he was taking care of the kids, stuff like that. And then we saw each other a lot on the weekends. Mm -hmm. So, once we started getting serious, I remember him saying like, well, you know, you got off work, you know, swing by the house. And I'm like, man, I'm trying to go home. I got to go to work tomorrow. Like, so I had to get used to, like, I guess, including him mm-hmm. and the kids, like, seeing them, getting work. used to that. Because, honey, I was working home Monday through Friday. That's it. Yeah. So I'll say that if that makes any sense. Yeah. Nice. Ebony said, I can strip out the house. (laughs) 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 Um, Okay, so we had a question back. All right, so this is from Nicole. How do you handle tension within your marriage, especially when filming these podcasts? Who said that? Nicole. Nicole, that's a good question. Nicole. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Well, Nicole, first, we pray. We Before do. every single every episode. Because episode. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, we want to make sure our head and our heart is clear. We want to make sure we're not bringing our problems to the podcast. So that's the first thing that we do. Um, and when we show up, we just show up and focus on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. What else? What y'all think? I mean, that's, I think. That's basically it. Yeah. That's I, I think it. we just, we have an understanding. Um Cause you gonna have tension. It's gonna be some days that yeah. we like. On the uh, hey, uh, welcome the back to the Man <laughs> Money Podcast. <laughs> so it is days that it's yeah. like that. Yeah, um, it's, it's but true. but as you're giving this, like being in the podcast, being around like people, y'all, we may have started off with an attitude with each other, and by the end of the podcast, it's it's nothing. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We good. Yeah, I think it's, like she said, it's going to be tension. But for me, I mean, just 
some of these questions and the episodes that we do it's like it's like a therapy session yeah, for everybody really mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying we're able to help each other through uh situations and the questions that we answer that y'all give right. Mm -hmm. And the, I mean, they're talking points in your marriage as well. So once we leave the podcast, you know, there's deeper discussions that you can talk about, um, you know, later on as well. Right. For sure. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right. Any questions on your end? Because I have a couple over here. Mm -mm. Go for it. Yeah. All right. So um, it says, how would you feel if you asked your spouse to go somewhere with you and your spouse said no? And a couple of days later, someone asked your spouse to go to the same place and they go. <laughs> yeah, that's that's that uh, sounds like a test from God. Um, <laughs> sound like a conversation. <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna start off with. So I know you're not going to when I just ask you. <laughs> yeah, definitely, exactly. a conversation yeah. needs to be. Yeah, had. definitely, definitely, time to talk about that. So basically, they telling your ass they don't want to go nowhere with you. <laughs> not, not necessarily <laughs> now, Nico. Yes, that, that's, yeah, what that's, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it's what pretty straight. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> Just um, express to the person how you feel. Um, try to be mature about it, and hopefully, they can receive what you're saying and get it right. Right, and that's why you know we say having the friendship is important because sometimes he want to do stuff that I don't want to do and i know i do stuff that he don't want to do but still keeping the friendship so that it's not a chore to go hang out with your friend your spouse even though you know it might not be something that you really want to do it's not it doesn't feel like a chore because y'all yeah. enjoy each other's company Boy, right and hang out at you, the bro. end of the day if you love your spouse oh, even if it's something that you do not like to do and your spouse likes to do it you you're there for your spouse yeah right and to spend quality yeah. time together mm -hmm. so yeah. you gotta you know pull your bootstraps up or whatever and, <laughs> yeah, for sure. and go mind. and hang out with them and do something that they don't like to do it's not all about you right Get your bootstraps. Yes. <laughs> exactly. That's what's up. All right. We got another question. We got a couple. All right. What do you think about the man setting the standard of doing everything in the marriage, such as cooking, cleaning, making plates to treat you like a queen, but when life starts lifing and he and he needs help, the wife doesn't extend a helping hand because he has served all her all this time. She doesn't help. Sorry, it's kind of cut off on the thing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wife, you wrong. Definitely. Yeah. You yeah, wrong. You dead wrong. Yeah. You want to be treated like a queen, but you don't want to treat your king. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it, that's true. It's that's a reciprocation. True. Like, you yeah. do for me, I do for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's back and forth. Can't just be one way. Nah. And that's and that was kind of like what we was talking about. We had to change our ways. We all kind of was selfish. We did what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But when you really care about somebody, you incorporate them. You wanna you wanna make sure they're good. We yeah. I wanna make sure you good. So right. and let's and, be honest, man. Your your partner always they're not always gonna be one hundred percent exactly in every area. Exactly. So you know you wanna make sure you deaf for them when they at thirty. Mm -hmm. percent 20 percent whatever the case may be right. you know you want to make sure you there to to pick up that exactly and why not show up for your spouse when they lacking if you know life be life and exactly. right. Right. Yeah. we yeah. go through some things and you yeah. just need to show up and that's right. what your your partner is for that's like yeah. we, we are a team if he's lacking then i'm gonna pick it up if i'm lacking he's gonna pick it up mm -hmm. that means if he's lacking oh never mind i don't know that yeah. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. <man>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Just help out when you can. Yeah. Show him like, hey, I appreciate I appreciate you. I see you. Let me help you out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right. We sure. see each other. Bible say y'all are one. He didn't say it was just one. He said all are one. He ain't just one. <laughs> that means two of y'all is one. That means together. Not just that one. Good. For yeah. real. All right. That's right. And uh, that's what I was going to say. If you, if life is lifing, that means it's impacting both of us. That's yeah. right. So it's not yeah. just impacting the, the spouse, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to count down about 10 more minutes. We've been on for an hour. 
and wrap up episode 20. Any more questions out there? Yes, keep on asking questions. We have about 10 more minutes. We're going to be live. Yes. Yeah, and this has yeah. been fun. Yeah. 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 Sure. 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 Y'all, y'all get there. to see all the stuff that we might not show you in the real <laughs> episode. <laughs> and Ebony, if you're still listening, um, ask your questions. Cause you know you be drilling me, <laughs> so come on yeah, up and Ebony, ask. Come out, come out of the shadow, <laughs> Ebony. <laughs> All right. So Angie, just based off of what we last said, she says I think it's selfish too. But she said, but he set himself up. Do you guys think he self set himself up because he was doing all that for his wife? In I a way. Like- in a way. Why? In a way, because like that's what he wanted to do. But now life is life, and you didn't give her the opportunity. You didn't say like, "Hey, I need you to do this or do that." You just did everything on your on your own. Like now, what what do you expect from her? Okay, I get what you're saying, um, but I feel like also <laughs> it has to be reciprocated. Think about this in this way: um, if I was doing everything. I was cooking. I was doing everything, right? But there's a time that come, and I'm down and out. I, I can't. Physically, I can no longer do it. Mm-hmm. Life is life for me. In that moment, you don't feel like you should step up. Bojangles. I feel like if he... If he Win something, not the ball. Hey, anything. I feel like because because it's like a catch twenty two now. (laughs) We can't say start start finish the way you start and then say he set himself up for that. He's he's continuing on what he started with her. I think he's being a good spouse. I just feel like she not. She's not being good to him. What? Life is life. It's not like he all of a sudden stopped. <clears throat> life is lifing, and then he needed some help. No. Yeah. I don't think he set himself up. I think she is just being selfish in this moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's a little bit of both. But I, I yeah. you gave the person the world, and then they, you know, they're gonna turn to a spoiled brat. Yeah, so when it's the, their time yeah. to do that, they like, well, I wasn't doing this before. So. Mm-hmm. But if life is lifing. Like be she just gonna go find somebody else to spoil. Well, she's done. Then she won't. Right. Because right. right. this is, life don't life like that all the time. I right. mean, but right. you have moments where life is gonna life. But that happens though. Yeah, like I, was I mean, cheaters, it do happen. If you're watching cheaters, the person will be like, "You always working. You always doing this. I'm yeah. paying the bills. Yeah. Which yeah. means I'm always it's, working. Yeah. Exactly. It's definitely people out here like that though. Yeah. It you is know? selfish for real. Just selfish. And the grass is not always greener. Exactly. Yeah. You about to lose this man. To go out here and think you're going to find something else. And then this person ain't even going to be doing And life don't even have to be lifing for them. They just ain't going to do it. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> right. It's hard to come by. When you, <laughs> yeah, that's true. When you that's find true. somebody like that and you have somebody like that. And they're down and out for God knows how long. Like she said, it ain't going to be forever. Yeah. You know, just do what you got to do. Like he said, yeah. you can't cook. Go out and get some Bojangles. Yeah. Like, do yeah. something. And your vows. Yeah. What are your vows? Through what? Thick, Thick and thin. thin. Yeah, for sure. Better and worse. Yeah. Yeah. Better and worse. Better or worse. <laughs> <laughs> what up? <Yeah. laughs> something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, no question, but my question is, what are things you shouldn't have to ask for in a relationship? Oh, golly. Mm. Respect. That's a great question. Yeah. I get yeah, mm-hmm. respect. Yeah. Should be respecting uh, each other. Yeah. Quality time. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't have to ask for that. Communication. Yeah. Yeah. Rub my feet. <laughs> yeah, okay. I should have that for that. Um big one, I guess it kind of t- loyalty. I don't yeah. think you should have yeah. to ask for loyalty when you in a marriage. Loyalty. Right. Yeah. If you decide to be with me, then that's it. Yeah. yeah. All right. You know how it works. Yeah. Honesty. Yeah. 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 That's a good mm-hmm. one. I agree with that. Linda said, "Do you love me?" 
Oh, you shouldn't have to ask that. Oh, it should. You should be feeling that. You should feel the love. Oh, I, I, yeah. I, yeah, I get that. Yeah, definitely. Do your love, man. Come on, guys. A couple more questions. We're about to go on. Yeah, we're about to wrap it up, y'all. Oh, and if y'all like our shirts, they are for sale. Mine is mine is an exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else's shirt, you can go get you one. They are for sale. We will be coming out with more colors soon. So if you want to support that way, we have shirts available. Get you one. You got the exclusive. Yeah, I got the hey. exclusive. We might bring this out soon. I don't know if y'all want all our faces. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, if you, you, if you want it, let us know. You should have gave us that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's what you should have done. Uh-oh. Shots. Y'all might can get one later, but this for me is... <laughs> <laughs> and also, like, don't stop the questions. If you have questions after we get off, send them to our DM, and we can always tackle that later. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, one more thing. This is the Married Bunch. That's the name. You don't have to be married to listen. You don't have to be married to watch. Right. You don't have to be married for nothing. Yeah. That's just the name of the, the show. Yeah. yeah. Right. We be talking about life too, y'all. Yeah, yeah. we be talking about everything. Because life be life. And- yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So just based off what we said, Angie said, some may not know about quality time. Therefore, you have to teach them the quality time you need. That's true. Yeah, yeah I right. think it, it is. Yeah, I agree you're with right. that. You're right. It is true. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you got to teach, teach people... How to love you. How to love you. Yeah. Right? It doesn't mean they don't love you, but sometimes you know yourself the best, so you got to teach them what you need and what yeah. you desire. And That's the right. stuff that we think is regular, you know, it might it's not be not. regular to somebody mm-hmm. else. Right. So. Right. Uh, Linda, my auntie, she said, you yeah, young squeaky. people have a lot of wisdom. Keep up the good work. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Y'all got any more questions? At the table? Oh, oh no. Oh, let me see. I'm going to double check before we wrap it up. Tanya said, do the vow mean the same? And I can't see it. Do the vow mean the same as back in the day? So it's married. So it's basically. Like, it's like is marriage the same as back in the day is what you're saying? No. I don't think no, it is. I don't think so either. The foundation of marriage is the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. What's our previous episode when we was talking about uh, what is it like? The man do everything, or back in the day, what was it? Uh, the provider, he provides everything. Yeah. But what, oh, was, what was it? It was a name. It was a name that we said on the previous episode. Um, I forgot. The name. I don't remember. Oh that. man. <laughs> Um, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but I don't, yeah. yeah, I don't know um, exactly. But yeah, what you said, the foundation is still the same. Oh, yeah, man. The foundation yeah. is still the same. I think now, um, before it was the man working, the wife staying at home, and now you see those roles reversed. Yeah. But like Crystal always say, do what works for y'all. Mm-hmm. Um, Got mm-hmm. to. Yeah, and I also think social media paints marriage as today as this bad thing. So young people are like, "Oh, I don't want to get married. I don't need a man tie mm-hmm. me down." Mm-hmm. But they we we've gone away from the foundation of what marriage truly is. Mm-hmm. Yep, gender roles. That's oh, what yeah. I was trying yeah. to say. Yeah. Gender, roles. gender roles. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. All right. Let me check my question. Mm-hmm. Y'all good? Y'all good? Yeah. Uh-huh. Any last words? Any last questions? Any last words, y'all? Go subscribe. If you ain't watched previous episodes, go watch previous episodes. Like them. Yes. Um, yes. Start, yeah, at, the sure. yeah. Start <laughs> at the beginning. Start at the beginning. We yeah. have a lot of more interviews coming up. We have, I think, about six in the can, so they're going to be coming out soon. Mm-hmm. And take it through the summer. Yep. Make yeah. sure you listen. Yeah. Man, and we really appreciate everybody who um, was hanging out with us tonight on all platforms. Like, y'all all over. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. we appreciate that. Thank yeah. y'all for the love, for real. Yeah. And the questions. Today. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it. and remember. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and y'all know how we're going to close it out. Go ahead, yeah. Nico. And remember. The way is, is only the beginning. beginning. Yes. Cut it off. Cut it off. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs>